So I have no self-control in Poshmark when it comes to wigs. Sup guys, so I have no self-control when it comes to wigs on Poshmark. My intense need for wigs and growing my collection just continues to grow. So now I am, hi bear. Now I'm in constant need of getting warmer wigs and add them to my collection and I don't know when to stop. Granted, I don't spend a ton of money uh, most on each, so I bought three so far. So this is kind of like a haul video. At most, I have probably spent $15 on each of these wigs. Uh, that is including shipping on them. So I don't want to spend more than that on a used wig. I don't care if it was $50, really brand new. I may get some leeway and spend as much as $20 on a lace front wig that's in really good condition. So let me grab said wigs that are sitting over here. All these wigs came in pretty good condition. Uh, some of them look like they may have been worn once, some of them look like they had been gotten for something and then never actually gotten the opportunity worn by the owners. Um, so yeah, kind of have them here. I have one kind of Japanese style Harajuku, it has like cut bangs and then a princess cut bang, kind of like framing and it's really long. It's gray tone with a little bit of blue, it actually has a weft or two of blue underneath. Are you good? She made a weird noise and I, I want to make sure Angel's good. And um, then I have another one that's like rainbow but short and a straight bang. And another one that's a straight bang but it's pink and it has multiple layers. Now, some of them I kind of plan for projects to do or maybe do makeup looks around and stuff, so I'm going to quickly braid my hair and stuff, which is kind of a mess. It had been in braids for like three days, and it I feel like a poodle, so it's going to go back in braids. Ooh, let's release the poodle. Yeah. I am a pink poodle. So yeah, I'm gonna brush it out, put it in some French braids and quickly come back and do that. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Well, my hair is in a wig cap and this is, I'm sorry. This is where we're at right now. All right, on to the wigs. Ooh, let's do this pink one first. So this was the last one that I received in the mail. This kind of it has one of these mesh caps, which I see really calm for like common for like really inexpensive uh, or cheap um, cosplay kind of wigs. They're not bad as long as the wefts are still in, but it is it does have like a lot of extreme layers, which is really common for cheaper wigs too. Yeah, it's not super tangly. It's mostly tangled because I had taken out a package and stuff and whatnot. And it has a cute little bang moment with a little bit of longer bangs. Let's put it on. Let's adjust these hooks first. Oh, and I can't. I can't adjust these side of the hooks because they've been sewn down for some reason. Who does that? So I think I can just counteract that by just going... Hank, you're not being helpful. You're not helpful! I was probably... Thank you. It was probably because in the machine it just didn't do it and the person didn't put that on their thing, so... Hmm, you should go back and put a four star instead of a five star. There. Also, I've noticed, which again, this is more like the wood company. You see all these like shorter pieces here. Hank! Really? Don't give me that bitch face. Gosh. He's giving me so much attitude. Give me so much tood. But that's because in order to make them more cheaply but keep the length, they, when making the wefts, they will make one side shorter so that way they can make as much length as possible but still not use as much material. I think it's kind of weird that they did that. I'm just gonna put this one all the way over here and then make this side all the way over here to kind of like counteract it. And hopefully that'll help. Oh wow, that's kind of thin. So, 
Hopefully that works out. If not, I'll fig I can just unsew unstitch it later. Ugh. This is a fun part actually putting on the wig. My forehead makeup is gonna be end up like messed up, but that's okay. Okay, shoving it in. Gonna mirror over here, so I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Okay. Bangs, little on the long side, that's okay. You can pull bangs back if you don't want to trim them. Okay. This wig kind of smells weird. I may have to wash it. So yeah, just pull it back. So yeah, that's kind of cute. I think I might want to put combs in, like right here and then like comb it. You can definitely tell it's really thin. Yeah, it's like missing places where they probably should have put West, but if I do this, it's not that noticeable. So just throw that. My bobby pin. I have a bobby pin sticking out of the wig in the back. Okay. So yeah, that looks cute. And it doesn't really show the bump in the back of my head, so because I have a, since I have a lot of hair, I have to pin my hair a certain way, and there's always like a pretty big bump, and that's normal. That's just my problem because I have a lot of hair. Oh goodness! I'm also like tangling this up a little bit, so it's fine. This one didn't come in the original bag, nor they kind of threw it in one of those um, envelopes you get. Like those flat rate shipping envelopes, you know? Not in a box, which, I mean, it came out still good. It just is. When I counter a knot like this, I just trim it out. I just can't even. So I smell, I smell ammonia a little bit, a little bit of smoke. Yeah, it's from this wig. This wig smells a little odd. The, the person may have had something in their house that smelled weird, and I'm hoping it doesn't get on my hair. Ugh. But yeah. So I may, with this wig, I'm probably going to wash it. I might not even bother trimming the bangs, but I really want to add clips. Um, and yeah. I may do a rooting on this wig just to show more rooting techniques, or maybe I can dye the ends and show more of how I do that but other than that it's a it is a cute wig I just smell something like this isn't a normal smell from this wig and like it didn't smell it until I put this wig on so like it's not it sounds like almost dusty a little bit of ammonia maybe like smoke a little bit so yeah yes Hank so yeah, this is definitely going to get washed because that smell, which can be common when you're getting wigs from people, you know, that stuff happens all the time. You know, it's because they house, I can't, um, I don't think they even said they were in a smoke-free environment, so I think that's a question I need to start asking, um, but even then they could just lie, so sometimes it's better to wash wigs before you put them on. I'll remember that. I might give this more, I'm probably going to straighten this wig. Not, I'm not gonna lie, probably gonna straighten it, then give it a better curl instead of having this kind of like weird stuff going on where it looks like I did my hair three days ago <laughs> and now it's like oily and weird. So I think I'll do that, straighten it, and then also cut to have more like framing pieces this way. Cause you see how it has like somewhat framing pieces here for like a fringe, just bring that further have more framing pieces but yeah cute but definitely doesn't need to be wash so let's eat this off also I need to put it in a bag so all right next one let's do a, the next one which is a short colorful one this one came in a bag I think this is the original bag it came out of uh, this was originally bought on Amazon and I got it for $8, but it was like 15 something and some change with the shipping that I got it for. Same thing with this one. This one was like $8. Um, I think with this one, 
I was going back and forth and originally I offered five and they kept going back but then I was like I'm only gonna offer as much as eight um, and then they like, declined it and then they messaged me back like a, two days later saying hey never mind I'll take your eight dollars um, just make an offer so I did and I got eight dollars I got it so yeah that's how I keep myself from buying too many wigs have a limit and it's you know it's fine for some people so this one's practically brand new it needed to be shaked out so I already did that putting the hooks in hooks are not sewn so that's good this one the wig cap is different this is kind of like a basic cosplay wig but definitely good for like Harajuku Lolita kind of stuff so this is the inside of this cap it has like lace here but then no lace here it has these like bands where you connect the west and then for these you have to be careful because then the hairs on the west get on the inside which it happens pretty often but not horribly it has one of those skin patches but only a circle one because it has one of these kind of parts which is fine when you have ones with bangs because it's not really that noticeable it's also one of those as multicolored layers so it looks pretty looks pretty cute now let me put it on okay again bangs are kind of long but I know why they do bangs longer it's easier to make a it's easier to cut them or pull them to the side pull back so I think the bangs because it's been stored for so long the bangs need to be quickly restyled they kind of lot they want to go like one or either direction they're not straight okay I really like this one I like the colors on this one I like how it looks like how a lot of people want to dye their hair and I suggest for people who want to dye their hair these colors um, to get a wig like this first you know it's not that expensive on, on Amazon you get Amazon Prime brand new for like $19 so I mean that's a eh, that's a steal in my opinion okay this is another one of those where it kind of like does that but I feel like I've done it I've had cheaper wigs like that and I just bobby pinned it and it looks fine so I may add combs or maybe just bobby pin it so but doing that do that it's cute I like it I like it especially with my glasses I like these kind of bangs with glasses hi hi Hank you want to you join my little haul video oh man I should have taken pictures of that one but okay that's fine I'll wear that I'll put that one so this one's cute I don't really see the wefts so like I feel like this one this one's better because the wefts are more dense so than the other one than the pink one so with this one I don't think we're gonna do much except from just restyle the bangs and maybe add combs I definitely want to add like front combs so that way it doesn't I don't have to worry about sliding off this one, with, this is just a cute Harajuku wig. Love it. Do you love it, Hanky? Mm -hmm. I found vibrated. Right but yeah, cute Harajuku wig. I, th I think also another thing I might do is I might uh, put a little bit, because it looks a little shiny on camera, I'll probably put a little bit dry shampoo, at least on the top layers, so that way it can give it more of a realistic look. Like, oh yeah, I totally dyed my hair. I feel like my first, like with most people, unless you are someone who wears wigs a lot, your first reaction when you see someone with new hair is, you did something with your hair instead of you're wearing a wig. Because me, I see people and I go, you're wearing a wig. That's a cute wig. All that wig almost looks real. Things like that because I know what I'm looking for, but everyday people don't. So, at least I know I can pull off really colorful hair, though it is a commitment to have colorful hair, especially with different layers and strands because re it would be a bitch. I'm gonna have to put you down, Hanky. Thank you. So yeah, cute. All right, I guess I get to yeet this one off now and on to the next one, which is a much longer wig. So, uh, yeet. Also, good pro tip, when I style my wig, when I like store my wigs, especially with short wigs, I like to turn them inside out. And that's partly probably the reason why the bangs were a little weird because it was stored it looks like they had it took it out 
to take pictures of it but never actually got the chance to wear it and i feel bad for people who don't get a chance to wear their wigs i'm like maybe once i know with the pink one they said they probably wore it once and so it never got put back in the original packaging which is probably why it smells a little different i know like to me if someone wore my wig for the first time like you never met me and then they wore my wig they're probably like, this smells different because it smells like your environment um so yeah next wig this one practically brand new still in the packaging i did pull it out but i put it back the way it was still has its little thingy which i like because if you're getting squish it still has the original bag it probably came in the netting is still on it oh goodness the netting looks like this person may have put it either took really good care of it because it looks like they wore it maybe once or twice and but they put it back in the thing like it's supposed to be still has the tissue paper and then also it still has the original tag i think they put they bought it realized they didn't need it or got it from someone and then they turned around and went ahead and sold it which is fine by me because they wrote a picture of someone wearing it and it wasn't like the a picture online photo which I kind of dislike when people put the online photos of their of the thing they're trying to sell when it's a used item instead of actually putting their photos because I'm like well, what does it look like now it's like someone put on the photos of it by itself and what it looks like and then they also put a photos like the Amazon photos as it this is what it's supposed to look like this is what it looks like so you make your decisions on that so the inside of this wig is like the last one where it has the whiffs but doesn't have the full on lace which I mean it makes it better for people when they're doing you know more compatible with different people and it has a little skin patch here because it has a side part uh, like a mid part it has the cute little bangs and then it has these bangs so these bangs are kind of thick I don't know how they're going to work but look how pretty it is. It does have like one or two wefts of blue. So it gives it a nice pretty like hint of blue in it. It's kind of an ash toned brown. It's not quite gray, not quite brown. It looks really pretty. It's really, it has a nice little, it's like mostly straight in this cute little curl at the bottom. Love that. Super anime vibes. This is definitely a Harajuku kind of wig. And I really, really needed one of these in my life. I didn't know it until I saw it and had the opportunity to get one. I think I've always wanted one. It's just money. It looks like a mess right now, but that's because I haven't. <laughs> I cannot gracefully put on wigs, but people who can, kudos to them. Ooh, it has a little patch thing. Oh, gosh, there's pieces on different sides oh god okay there's like slight knots forming but that is super common just with longer fibers because trust me i have long hair i know what it's like it's impossible to get it to be a tangle free or completely tangle resistant okay i don't know how people can do this while that's on their head i'm always doing this on a styrofoam head okay I think I'm good so I like this wig I don't know if it looks good on me really I'm honestly like this wig doesn't look great on me even like well if I take off my glasses it looks cuter but I think it's just these little side pieces here that kind of like throw me off so yeah, I think I need to just kind of like restyle these side bangs because it looks like they were so bluntly cut compared to the bangs. So, I guess plans for this wig. I re This one also wants to fall, like move back a lot. I feel like I'm pushing it forward a lot more than I'm pulling it back, like unlike these, where they feel a little bit more secured. So definitely want to put combs in this one. Um at least one comb in the middle to keep it from falling back so much. I also want to take it and I want to trim a little bit of this like princess cut here just a tiny bit 
to make the bangs a little longer. And then I want to take these and like thin them out, but also maybe make them at an angle. Like more like this kind of angle. To frame the face better. Because I feel like also with glasses, they don't really work well with glasses. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But I think besides that, like this part looks super cute. I mean, probably if I took this piece and like... Oh, wow, that's cute. Yes. Okay, give me that cuteness back. Give me that weeaboo. So yeah, if I did that... It definitely brings more of that cuteness back. I think there's just too much hair right now in front. So like, I don't like it like that. I like it like this, with a little piece probably pinned to the back or maybe pinned like right here. But yeah, that's cute. Hanky, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, like, dude. Dude. Hank wants to cuddle so badly right now and I'm like I cuddle with you so much today he's just like more more he's a slut to say the least okay down you go woo so that is So yeah, this is not my favorite. I thought this one before, like, when I was getting them all. Because, like, this one and the rainbow one came on the same day. But then the pink one came in, like, three days later. And I wanted to wait to get them all before I did, like, a review kind of thing. This was not my favorite. I thought this one was going to be my favorite because it had the most interesting hair and everything. But now that I have it on, I'm like, mm, It's not me. Like, if you take this piece and kind of push it back, it looks a little cute. You know, pretty cute. I feel like you get away with it like that and just kind of pin it. I think that looks really cute, but there's just too much hair right there. Um, this is definitely a Lolita style wig though. So I think, yeah, it's not, I'm, I only want to restyle this part and then add like a comb in it. Oh, I'm getting stabbed by bobby pins. I did a quick bobby pin jump, so it's not the best because I didn't plan on wearing a wig all day. So yeah, I think my top favorite is the rainbow one, and then the pink one is like, this one and the pink one's probably like even, because that one smells weird, but I don't have to, but I have to like do some, like do a little bit more restyling to it. And then this one, I like this one, I like the colors. I wish it was maybe like just a straight bang and then this with the colors. I think that would look so pretty, but I mean, I can always try to get a grayish, ash tone wig and then actually put in blue wefts into it to get that color i really want to do that i think it would look so cute so actually that's a good idea i think i might do that in the future um get a bang which is straight bangs and then do that but i also feel like these bangs are so small and they're not meant to frame my face without my glasses it doesn't look like it looks really good without my glasses but i need my glasses to see uh, so yeah, I think without my glasses, this is perfect. I think this would be a great photo shoot one because I do have like some Lolita, like Lolita style clothes. I would love to like pair this with because as soon as I saw this and I was able to get it, I was like, I know exact outfit I want to do. I kind of want to do a photo shoot with all these wigs in the future, <laughs> probably on weekends when I have off. My boyfriend takes really good pictures, so... That would be a good opportunity to do, and then just have, just, what, well, have some cute photos of me, you know? Yeah, let me know which one was your favorite wig out of this little wig haul. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoy wigs, I love dressing up and stuff, so this is fun for me, um, and I hope you get to see these wigs in future videos. If you want to go ahead and start helping me name these wigs, because I am wanting to name my wigs. Really, Hank? He's pushing his water dish. 
in my boyfriend's home. But anyway, um, my wig, my purple wig that I did is now named Victoria because some people have helped me name that one. And if you want to help name any other ones, you know, you can always go to my Instagram and help as well as on the comments on my YouTube videos. So thanks for watching my Instagram and well as other social media will be linked down below. And yeah, peace out, Girl Scouts.